What's going on, YouTube, man? I got one for you right here, man. Beast and Whack reacts to comments made by DJ Academics about Clubhouse. They calling DJ Academics out, talking about Clubhouse people ain't credible. Well, they saying your track record ain't credible either. But I'm going to let them get into it. Hit that like and that subscribe and let's go. Clubhouse shenanigans is in the room, so this is going on YouTube. Man. So, so wait, what? And by the way, I think Wack Rosetta positive right there. with people who are kind of reputable, but this this was looks like a very thirsty opportunity for content. I'm gonna be honest. Here we go. <laughs> We're gonna mute up Rogum. Somebody mute up Rosetta for us. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only, so everything is alleged. So it's not. And the fair accuse is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. I have a. Thank you very much. As you can see, team. Don't know about Jay we're going to pause it, but I'm going to pause it up real quick. Let me mute her up. All right, cool. As you can see, team, he just said, well, a lot of shit right there. If you, hold on. He just said a lot of shit about us right there. He just was telling us about how we need to be verified. We need a check. This is coming from DJ Academics right here. He said, what we say, it bears all the burdens on WAC. Whatever we say, it affects WAC. It don't affect us, it affects WAC. So what happens when you say something, academics? What happens when you're the person saying these things or you're presenting the content and you're running your content and you haven't fact-checked, academics? And obviously, we were nobody. He definitely came on the app to listen to us, correct? Right? He definitely came on the app to listen to this non-information that we, <laughs> he thought we had. But Wack was definitely right when he stated what he said, though. I'm confused. You know what else is interesting about that? Most of the time, we get the news from them, their blogs. We might react to the shit, you know, normal reaction shit. So... How is that right. anybody's fault? If you're gonna see a headline, you're gonna react to it. So, whatever. He use he use our content most of the time. He'll pull our shit and run it. But it's it's weird because it's kind of like like Ruth stated, like we get content from blogs and things like that, and we run it. Um, you know, shout out to Mickey. She actually does the work. You know, we have people on our. Still? Yeah, I thought Nadi was talking. I must have yeah, I thought uh, she must have got, oh, got a phone call. Yeah, okay, so um, Rosetta, go ahead and play where Academics is telling us how stupid we are and how we didn't, don't know what the fuck's going on. Go ahead and play that portion. Look, I, I be listening to Club Us a lot because wax on it. But if you ever listen to motherfuckers, them motherfuckers be talking like, well, well first of all, there's like zero lawyers there. But everybody is convicts or been through the system and they act like they know the law through and through, which is kind of like a it's kind of paradoxical and, and it's kind of oxymoron. Like if, if you knew the law, you wouldn't probably be a cop, but OK, whatever. They don't even see the blatant like why the fuck would the Migos be in witness protection? You saw a witness protection is? Now, word on the street is. Anytime anybody, especially if they're trying to cite some official shit about an actual thing that went down, word on the street, there ain't no word on the street. Someone turned over information to the feds on Jay Prince. And they're saying that the reason that he got arrested was because of the video that he made and he threatened sent threats, okay? To offset, all right, y'all? So this is why he was arrested so far. I knew it was bullshit at this moment, and this is where I call out the people on Clubhouse because y'all be acting like y'all y'all all got a, a bunch of- What up, YouTube? Oh, this is Get It Ready, yo, back. Y'all be all acting like y'all got a bunch of JDs. If you don't know, that's, that's a law degree. 
Um, if you couldn't tell, like, th this was bullshit right after that statement. <laughs> burnt out uh, right you're the real you're i mean you're a content creator that's supposed to dig up dirt and all of that stuff and bring facts and like like they stated right like you are mad because we were speaking on a situation and you're upset at that and then you don't call it content and you're That is to blame. You know how when you you got them fuck niggas that used to be in high school that was never nothing, right? Like never nothing, lames and couldn't get no holes for real or like nothing, yeah, right? Yeah. And then they they go to the internet, right? Talk they shit, right? That's like like uh, like fugly koala koala bear looking ass niggas, right? Yeah, Big pudgy, 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 ass pudgy ass face niggas, drunk right? type motherfucker. Yeah, pu pudgy face in the mug ass niggas, right? And yeah. then they, they finally get them fucking voice right on the internet. Cause you know they they say some good shit. You know they smart, whatever the fuck, right? And then now they be talking like they 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 in this whole gang gang all this shit talking reckless like they can't get the fade. I, I don't I don't know. It's it's very weird to me. And, and you know he not no thug, right? Thug life behavior type shit. This nigga a civilian speaking on street life shit though. So. I don't know. DJ Academics is it's it's getting kinda like zesty and weird to me. I, I really don't see nah, it for him. Nah, he's losing his edge. 
Yeah, like the the nigga weird that you now got to speak on our, our us quote unquote lackluster people on Clubhouse, but you plan our content though, right? And shout outs to Wack One Hundred because obviously his name's in the street that much, nigga, that you feel some type of way of, of what he said, right? Like you feel some type of way of what Wack said. Like this nigga feels some type of way. Beast, like I don't get it. How you feel about it? I feel like that. I, I feel, feel like, like that. I oh, feel... hold on, hold on. I think they're gonna play the content because I see the echo. Hey, uh, Rosetta, you ready to play the content? That's naughty. Naughty always has it. Oh, okay. Naughty. <laughs> Not too much on me. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Eric, you ready? You got the content queued up? Can you play the content, the Rollo content? Uh, Rosetta has to restart her computer so we can get that going. If you could play the uh, the content where the either the Rollo, the QC. Get to my computer. Okay. Yeah, if you, like I if said, you think about it. He oh, do be ahead. instigating. Oh uh, my bad. He do be instigating a whole lot of beef, though. And I mean, where is his sources coming from? Sometimes it just be hearsay. Like anybody who makes a general statement about a group of people, whether it's anywhere, that person is obviously a fool. Because no, nobody acts the same as their peer. Nobody acts just like their brother, even their twin brother. You know what I mean? That that was a general ass statement. The yeah. ABs. What's I mean, up? What's I, up? What what's I up? Think, what's up? What's up? I think uh, Naughty was on point with a lot of it, but a lot of the journalists always been them outsiders, right? But I just think there's been such a flood since the pandemic of new podcasters, no journalistic integrity, no background in it. And there's a race to get content out fast so somebody else doesn't get it. So all the legwork is not done like it used to be. It used to be a standard, you know what I'm saying? That's and a there fact. Is none you had to have a just, fact. Just get it out there. Right. Yeah, yeah, and race. you don't even see you don't even see retractions when you do it wrong when you do it wrong. It's crazy. Keep so, it pushing. That's a but, fact. Yeah, just move on to the next thing. It's crazy. So yeah, I think all of that plus what Naughty was saying too. Um, but I just think the landscape has changed. Like everybody think they could do it and they can't. So I'm Cop- like that. Copy. Oh, we're gonna run this content real quick. We're gonna let you guys hear what what happened, how he played himself. Go ahead, go ahead and run the content. Anyway, this is Rollo, and um, apparently. You know, um, through the inquiries, through his lawyer, there was some paperwork that came out that said he didn't have a claim. Bro, that is low. Yeah, that's Can you look? Dumb low. That shit mad low. Yeah. Hey, bro, that go Eric, ahead. Uh, Eric yeah. just pulled up. Um, I seen that. I seen that. Go, Eric, go ahead and run that content again. We're going to. We're going to. Chat. We, we, um, yeah. So we'll talk a little bit more about the, the whole event. Um, thing I'm doing with Charleston White. We'll get to that in a second, but we haven't done topics in a, in a minute, right? Um, first and foremost, I don't know if you guys seen this earlier today, but, and let me be very clear about it, because I, I think Wack felt like he was under attack today. Wack was hitting me like crazy today. He was like, yo, yo, Wack, like, yo, what's up? Anyway, so Wack 100, and, and, and this is the thing about, you know, I'm not going to blame Wack, but I'm going to blame the people in his clubhouse room. By this, by whack being a part of our clubhouse rooms, it's given some type of credence and some type of believability to the people who are around him. Now, nobody knows y'all niggas' names. However, when y'all say some dumb shit or when y'all say some shit that might be false, no one's going to say you said it. They're going to say whack said it. So I'm going to play out a clip of what will happen. And essentially, somebody reported some news that... Go ahead and um, pause that right there, uh, Eric. Let's see if I can figure it out. Go ahead and pause it. I want you to play the QCP paperwork that he said, oh, he just tried to throw it off on uh, on 1090 Jake. Like, that's his... Well, how go to that. just get away from that? To where he couldn't clear my name. Oh, no, no, no. That was, that, we were just showing, the, like, how you going to make false accusations and not speak. You know how he tried to throw us under the bus that day when know, he was... I never, I never heard that. Oh, you never heard that content? Remember when he tried to throw us under the bus about the uh, the off was it the offset, offset shit when when the Jay Prince, when the uh, Jay Prince arrested. getting arrested and, and somebody had made that we, we we had got that information from an Instagrammer. We put the link up. We said it could have happened, and I, I guess they know. went put it put it up. I, I put, okay, anything. play that content. Play that content real quick. Yeah, right. Third, uh, like that that Jay Prince got locked up for threatening Offset. Jay Prince locked up offset and it was clearly just fucking false but Wack reacted to it and his reaction um caused a, a bunch of chain of events so I'm, I'm gonna play you what he what he said here we go hey, video back at you with another here we go, oh, here we go.
Okay, so y'all know how Clubhouse get down. It's 10 niggas and what? We got the content. Yo, what I just tell you? That's why I found out. He, he verified. He, he said it was accusation, but he said he for sure has been arrested. He That's has confirmed. been. Bro, he's been right. in cuffs. Uh, what I just tell you, all it take is him talking to about Let the all said shit. Time. They got a blink. <laughs> Let me post it up top so people could know we 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 just going off of Got him toe tagging bag, huh? I don't like ugly. Hey, he didn't got on his sand too much like he always do. Whack, how does it feel you being know, always right? I ain't listen, I just speak on what I know. Like I want I'm an Aries. We hate to be wrong, but if we know okay. if we know, then I'ma speak on it. I just there it is. It's up top, everybody. Whack, whack. It's up top. We let the people see what we, we, we mean. We keep it a hundred, you know. I just said it. I... This this is such a bad look for Clubhouse. It, 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 and by the way, I think Whack tries to surround himself with people who are kind of reputable, but this this was looks like a very thirsty opportunity for content. I'm gonna be honest. Here we go. <laughs> you sending him all that boy list. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only, so everything is alleged. Some is not, and the fair accuse is in my description box, y'all. So, let's get to it, y'all. I have a slight update, okay? It is confirmed, okay? I don't know about Jay Prince Jr. yet, but Jay Prince has definitely been arrested, y'all, okay? My sources are saying he was put in handcuffs and taken into custody, y'all, okay? And they're also saying that the feds have put the remaining Migos, okay, under protective custody by the feds, all right, y'all? This is why, like, you know, as much as, you ever listen to Club, I be listening to Clubhouse a lot because Wax on it, but if you ever listen to motherfuckers, them motherfuckers be talking like, well, first of all, there's like zero lawyers there. But everybody is convicts or been through the system and they act like they know the law through and through, which is kind of like a it's kind of paradoxical and, and it's kind of oxymoron. Like if, if you knew the law, you wouldn't probably be a cop, but okay, whatever. They don't even see the blatant like why the fuck would the Migos be in witness protection? You know what witness protection is? Now, word on the street is anytime anybody, especially if they're trying to cite some official shit about an actual thing that went down, word on the street, there ain't no word on the street. Someone turned over information to the feds on Jay Prince. And they're saying that the reason that he got arrested was because of the video that he made and he threatened sent threats, okay? To offset, all right, y'all? So this is why he was arrested so far. I knew it was bullshit at this moment, and this is where I call out the people on Clubhouse because y'all be acting like y'all y'all all got a, a bunch of- What up, YouTube? Oh, this is Get It Video Back. Y'all be all acting like y'all got a bunch of JDs. If you don't know, that's, that's a law degree. Um, if you couldn't tell, like, this was bullshit right after that statement. Why would it like offset ain't a witness, right? Like there is something as tampering with a possible witness, but offset was not there. So threatening some random person would probably be within the jurisdiction of the state if they chose to pursue that. But this person said the feds. Okay. Now it would make sense if we're talking about because uh remember forget offset this is why you know somebody making up a story forget offset the real person that we should be thinking about is um migo bands migo bands there's an angle where he probably is going to be a witness he ain't get charged he was busting his guns you know what the cops probably said to him bro we ain't charge you but you gonna have to say what you seen why you bust your guns and we will won't charge you He's probably going to be a witness. Now, granted, Jay Prince did say something about that nigga. Jay Prince was like, yeah, that nigga hiding in Atlanta, blah, blah, blah. 
So if that nigga is a witness, right? Remember, Offset was not there. He was fucking cuddling with Cardi B. He was not there. So he's nowhere witness. He got nothing to do with this. You know what I mean? Again, obviously that's his brother, but he got nothing to do with this. Now, this story is bullshit because they're saying Offset. If they had said Migo Bands, who clearly was probably like, like I mean, I ain't going to say J Prince pointing the finger, but he pointing the elbow saying that nigga's working with the cops, the Migo Bands dude. If, if, if the story was that he got picked up for basically kind of trying to intimidate or flush out Migo Bands out of Atlanta, maybe. But Offset, nigga, that just sounds like something that works in the blogs. Like, nobody, what the fuck? What up, YouTube? This oh, is Get It Radio. The remaining Migos, okay, under protective custody by the feds. All right, y'all? Now, word on the street is, Someone turned over That's also cap, yo. If, if you ever, if, I don't know if y'all, um, y'all are familiar. Y'all remember the whole thing with six nine? <laughs> like, um, w w w they told six nine, like, yo, niggas is trying to kill you. Um, we could hide you. That's what they literally told. Him. We could hide you. Then the niggas said, nah, I'm good. And then when they heard on the, and he left. So they met with him one night. They left, and then the next night, because they're monitoring all calls. They hear Shoddy tell somebody, yo, them niggas is going to be in Connecticut. Yo, we got to do some shit. And basically, they're like, oh, they're about to kill him. Let's lock him up. So there's no, like, witness. There's, like, the way this person's making it sound like, yo, they're about to, like, change up change up Offset's face and hide him in, like, South Dakota. What the fuck? Information to the feds on J. Prince. And they're saying that the reason that he got arrested was because of the video that he made and he threatened sent threats, okay, to offset. Our okay, let me just get to where Wack and his crew was talking. Somebody over there was plotting. I got one. I don't have uh -huh. one. I got, you got it. I, oh, I got it, got it now. I got it now. I know you got it. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, they been on him. That let me know. I said, yo, they on it. And either he got snitch telling or against him. Oh, his phones is hot. That By the way, th th this is what, th you know, I think Wack is very new to, like, this media space. But this is where he got to have accountability. Bro, you can't even, this is not, con like, if it's a lie, it's not content. If it's not true, it's not content. So you just having a discussion about some random shit. It seems like, you know, for someone who probably ain't listened to the whole clip that you're corroborating it. The first thing you should have done is, nigga, how do we know this is true? Anybody got a video? Is any uh, 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 any any official sources reporting it? With the feds, it could be a little bit like dark at first because sometimes they're locking nigga up and it might be a whole indictment where they got three, four other people, so they ain't gonna tell nobody nothing. But you can't just go off like some YouTube video, bro. That call came from because somebody over there was plotting. They own it. I gotta say, man, that for a man of J Prince stature, let's get back to it. And when they own you, they listen to everything. I'm I was because the first thing they asked you, right? Um, the first thing she came off the mic and asked you, right? Uh, do you got any problem with Jay Prince? Are you feel any type of you feel threat, like all like that, the threat went for you, bro? Listen to me. They only by whatever reason when the feds is doing that. Well, they didn't took time to have a mother in the box and to sign a motherfucking compete with your ass. They own you. I was just a topping. If I was gonna give it to them, they got the pizza already. They got the pizza. They got the box. Yo, what did we talk about on Clubhouse? Pizza toppings? Like, what are we talking about right now? Anyway, um, again, for, for, I listened to the whole thing. It don't look like Wack ever said this was absolutely true, but he kind of piggyback off of the rumor, which wasn't true. And you know, he was giving his commentary and his context, but he didn't do any research or he didn't like really do any digging to say is this true before we comment on it. He basically said, well, didn't I tell y'all? You know what I mean? He's one of those. So he's not not a verified, but he was like, yo, hey, am I not right? Like, you know what I mean? Which a lot of people feel like that's verifying. Anyway, um, after that happened, two things happened, right? So my mixtapes posted it. My mixtapes. They posted that clip and they posted it here, right? Um, and, and it's the thing about, oh, the remaining Migos are under protective custody. Um, 
Offset was, well, obviously you see somebody from YRN right here. They say Cap. But Offset was in the comments earlier, and he basically said, uh, they put up another screenshot of it. Offset said this. Pussy, what the fuck is this cap ass shit? I don't know what, I don't know what that means, okay? But basically they were saying that's not true, right? Then the person who should be locked up, as everybody was discussing, Jay Prince goes live. So you get Jay Prince who goes live. And this nigga Instagram live is, is fucking, let me see it. So I'll play the whole thing. Oh, actually, I can just go to this page. Jay Prince, respect. Here we go. This is him. Actually, can I fast forward this shit? Because he's just staring in the camera like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Number one, first of all, right here, we gotta admit, Jay Prince looked like he's a judge mathis doppelganger like come on gang we gotta be honest this nigga look like George, uh judge mathis more than judge mathis nigga this nigga look like at any minute he about to pull out a gavel out of his pocket bro he looked like judge mathis that's a fact so he's sitting here and um i don't know if he's at a resort or maybe one of his many cribs um one thing that bothers me about jay prince is like he it's like that old grandpa that refuses to like just update with technology. It's like one of your uncles who still got a Bluetooth headset. One of them joints that just sit over the ear type shit. And you're looking at that nigga like, yo, bro, you know you can get an AirPod. And for him, he just needs the fucking, he needs the old school Bluetooth shit off of his ear because that's how he's always done it. That's his signature, you feel me? To him, that's fly. But you look at him like, yo, nigga, you are old as shit. This nigga refuses to cut the cord off of his motherfucking iPod headphones. Bro, you, yo, you telling me you got three fucking sons, Baby J Prince, Jazz Prince, and J Prince Jr. They could, they could set up dice games. They could sign Drake. They pimping and fucking all the hoes in Houston, but they can't get you a goddamn AirPod for Father's Day. There's something wrong, nigga. Like, come on, man. Like, come the fuck on. Like, get this nigga an AirPod for Father's Day, gang. Like, what's up? Like, get this. Yo, this nigga's still tugging on the string, bro. Like, come on. Look. And and he had to tug on the string because the mic right here. He got to get the mic in front of his mouth. What's up? What's up? By the way, Jay Prince, if you ever see this, I know you triple OG. I want no problems with you. It's all good. I already got my, like, you know, I got my extortion money that I'm down to pay when I come to Houston. I know how the, the drill goes, okay? That was a joke. Uh. Okay, he waits till people come in. I ain't gonna lie, this crib look, look nice, though. Where the, where the fuck is it? This place is, like, t in Texas like this? That looks cool, I ain't gonna lie. Come on, come on, man. We we got we got hit this shit. Okay, Jesus Christ, this nigga ain't about to say nothing. He can't even do the pan properly. Hold on, nah, I, I gotta go to YouTube. I'm sorry, I gotta skip through this video. J Prince. You know, um, it should be funny to me, y'all, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, man, uh, 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 what have this? By the way, ain't Jay Prince like 60? That nigga don't got no gray hair. Is he using that, um, you know, that shit that niggas be using when they trying to like dye the gray hair? This thing don't got no gray hair, dog. Come down to in the world today, you know what I mean? It's, uh, I can't believe people uh, 
play with people intelligence the way they play with people intelligence and intellect you know the way they do today you know people are telling lies for a living you know what I mean they actually lying to y'all for a living but as you can see you know what I mean uh, live in a living color this is what my my jail cell look like <laughs> alright so you're basically making fun you know of the fact for, that um, for all y'all wanna damn see. is this Texas I think I might have to buy some property out there what it look like this, this, this is what the cell look like Shit, they can keep me here 24 7. I'm good. But uh, it's a beautiful day. Yo, J Prince is a master of saying a lot, but saying nothing, bro. A lot of word salad. He whispering and shit. He talking like we in a library, nigga. He t like. You read some of my comments. One, one dude asked me why I talk so slow. I'm a down south southern man. You know what I mean? We don't talk fast. We don't talk slick. You know what I mean? We say what we mean and mean what we say. We ain't no rush to speak. I'm going to answer a few of y'all questions then. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go about my business. You see, I'm just relaxing. Letting God out in all these lies, Here we go. you know, uh, y'all got to stop playing with yourself. Stop playing with yourself and fooling yourself and and listening to all these lies and different things because you know all these liars, all of these uh, YouTube pranksters and different things. They ain't nothing like they claim to be. Just know that they live in their kitchen and in their, their bedroom. They they can't even walk down the street. But uh, it is what it is. Now, I like that one. Somebody say free the old man. Yeah, we working on that all day clout chase. I guess that's what they call it. Huh? To all my youth out there, I want y'all to know, ain't nothing for, ain't nothing but love where all of y'all concerned. With me, you know, those of y'all that know how to think. Some of y'all don't know how to think. And some of y'all, you know what I mean, uh, fall for anything. But those that, that know how to think, hey man, ain't nothing but love on this end. And, I'm gonna represent it like I always have. To try to keep y'all grounded and inspired. You know, because uh, ain't nothing y'all can't do, ain't nothing that can't be accomplished. You know, y'all put y'all mind to it. And I wanna be an example to inspire and motivate y'all to do just like, just that like I always have. But, uh, Y'all stop listening to these people that lie for a living. You know what I mean? Imagine having a life. You have to wake up every day and to figure out what lie you're going to tell on a real. All right, man. So he pretty much ain't saying a bunch. Of, he ain't saying shit, really. Uh, he ain't get locked up. Um, I, I know Wax's not going to like this, but yo, Wax basically was gave. He essentially gave a coast it like play this. if somebody imagine and whack doesn't understand this because he's not he, he's new to media for example if i if i'm on discord and somebody says let me not even wish this or or bring this upon no one but they say rapper a which is a very very popular rapper that we all know and like died and i start being like well you know you know, if they died, you know, um, so this is probably going to happen. This is going to happen. That person is going to do this. That person is going to do that. And that's the conversation we have, right? I'm pretty sure even if that person didn't die and say nobody else is reporting it, some people might actually take 
the fact that I'm talking about what's going to happen after um, that person dies as almost a, a, a um, um, implicit cosign or implicit, you know, um, yeah, implicit cosign that the person did die. So that's what Wack actually did. And, and, and I hope he understands that because there's a lot of people, they do this like whole floor thing when it comes to Clubhouse. You can't just let any nigga just read anything, right? Like you gotta at least have somebody who's saying, yo, where, where the fuck you getting from um, this from? Because what happens with this is that people, nobody knows the nigga who read it or the nigga who said this was true. But all we know is that Wack gave some commentary on it. But now everybody's using this as a hit against Wack's um, reputation. And um, that's really that, that's really it. Anyway. Um, yeah. So I said, that's the content. So where did he get that NBA young boy and, and Lil Dirk squash their beef? You get what I'm going with that, Wack? <laughs> I know Axe not going to like this. I know Axe not going to like this, but, you know, um, you got to have somebody doing your research, Act, before you say two credible mainstream artists is beefing where murders and deaths being involved has killed their beef because if you say something it's like act you're giving them a cosign and while you're giving out a cosign um you're forcing the other artists to say fuck that we ain't cool <laughs> and although they might not have said nothing right then but because you said that there's no beef and they're they have a truce and they're good now they're forced to say something which leads to them saying something about each other. And you have just um, started a whole nother fire that may lead to some more violence. While you're sitting up in your home chilling, right? Right. right. Clip it. Clip. Clip that shit. Wack, I just want to know where his...